Catherine spotted enjoying George rugby match with a rarely sixth family member at the Lambrook School. The queen is famed for many reasons, one of which is her deep love for corgis, and her grandson's family is just the same as they adore their black cocker spaniel, Orla. The young dog is extremely precious to the Cambridges at Kate and Williams received as a generous gift from her brother. Orla walked alongside Kate and William at various points in the match and appeared to be very well trained as she remained off the lead for most of the day. Kate Middleton took the rarely seen family dog Orla out of the recent trip to, to watch son Prince George compete in a rugby match. The Princess of Wales showed her support for her eldest sporting interest when she swung by a recent rugby match at Lambrook School. The mom of three to Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis were pictured chatting to a group of nearby mums as they gathered in the school grounds. Kate wore a long stylish chocolate brown wrap coat with a cream roll neck jumper underneath and a pair of brown leather Chelsea boots. But she wasn't alone as she took their family dog Orla, a two-year-old black cocker spaniel. The pooch was only been seen on a handful of occasions, including watching Prince William at a polo match, but he sat patiently as Kate chatted to other parents. Orla is a name of Celtic origin that translates to Golden Princess. Orla comes from the traditional Irish spelling Orlaith, which comes from Orlaithuth, which means Golden Princess as it combines or meaning gold with Flyth, meaning prince. Its full feminine form being Banfaliath. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing. Uh, my bad. For Princess Charlotte's seventh birthday, Kate Middleton and Prince William released three adorable new photos of their daughter. In one of them, Charlotte smiles with family's dog, a black conquer spaniel, who made his royal photograph debut. In November 2020, William and Kate shared the devastating news of Lupo's death in a rare personal message on social media. Princess Kate's visit back to Lambrook comes after the mother of three launched her exciting new campaign titled Shaping Us. As part of her project, the Princess of Wales encouraged the nation to share a throwback photo from their childhood. Kate has also previously taken son Prince George to watch the rugby as patron of the Rugby Football League and Rugby Football Union taking over the role from Prince Harry. They're frequently on opposite sides of sporting rivalries, but is all in good fun. For this occasion, Middleton wore a scarf in her team's color as she explained the game to George. The eight-year-old donned a red and navy puffer jacket and brought a stuffed toy to view the festivities with him. Middleton also wore a houndstooth patterned Kingsbridge coat from Holland Cooper over a high-necked black sweater, while the Duke wore a black sweater over a white button-down shirt with red tie. Kate Middleton also showed off her sporting side as she took part in a rugby training session as part of her new role as patron of Rugby Football League and Rugby Football Union. Mama 3 Kate wore the England rugby team tracksuit and her hair tied up in a ponytail as she tried to pinch the Tickle Bounded Stadium for a rugby session after the head England coach Eddie Jones. The Duchess, who is known for her competitive nature and athletic prowess, flashed a smile as she ran past the England players towards the try line and lifted her arms up in celebration after scoring. She couldn't hold back her giggles as she lifted up a in line out and even tried a drop kick. Let's come back to sharing us campaign. Middleton concerns over children's early and preventative years might seem like a harmless campaign, but it's really not. It implies the certain parents will damage their children unless nudged and policed by experts. Not for nothing does Middleton call the early years of a child's life the preventative years of chilling phrase. Shaping us could be dismissed as merely patronizing parents already try to do their best for their children. Many of the things that Princess of Wales advocates like singing nursery rhymes to babies are already routine for most parents. They certainly do not need a royal to tell them how to love their children. 
Like, sure, Star Shaping Us also wants to lecture certain parents on how to best to raise their children. Prince William and Kate Middleton was recently made the journey to Cornwall to visit the National Maritime Museum Cornwall and Falmouth since inheriting the titles. During their visit, they learned about the rich maritime heritage of Cornwall and how the museum is working to highlight the relevance of maritime issues to the present day before moving on to Dacriana Center.